What's going on guys? Pross and Talk here back again and it's been 20 years since WCW Nitro went under, WCW went under. Um and really a sad day well, it was in 2000 uh, this day in 2001, the 26th of um March 2001 because um it was just end of an era full full a big wrestling company and people say oh well but AEW AEW is just it's just started, so I'm not going to say that they're a competition to WWE yet, but at least it's a second alternative to WWE. And people said, oh, TNA in the past, Ring of Honor. They haven't been the same when it was WCW, because back when it was, when WCW was around, you could jump straight to WCW and jump straight to WWF, and you could refresh your character. But, you know, when that went away, it was just WWF. WWE was the main show in town. Also, TNA was growing at that point, Ring of Honor was growing at that point. But that was kind of a real, a real bad thing for WWE because they got complacent. Vince was like, I have no competition. Then I've done it. And stuff like that. Um, so basically Vince opens up um, WCW with him saying that he's going to address the WCW fans later on tonight. And he says that the wrestlers from WCW, his, their face all in his, his hands like that. And Flair comes out with the promos talking about all the people that have been in WCW and then there's a sign that says in the ring thing. Um, there's a sign that says that Bischoff, um, Subway is hiring. So if anybody wants, Subway is hiring for Bischoff. But um, yeah, basically Flair challenges Sting and he says that if you want to beat the man, you got to, you got to, uh, if you want to beat the man, you got to beat the man. Um, so that's for going on tonight. Then we have the first match tonight. Um, it was the Night of Champions theme. It was Scott Steiner versus Booker T for the US title and world title. Very short match. I thought that this should have at least gone on second to last because you had maybe you should have started off with Flair and Sting and then you would have done the world title match last. But, but anyway, this is how they kind of formatted it and they should have done it a lot better. But um, Booker T was with the book and um, Scott Steiner is. Um, Valley tries to interfere and stuff like that, but it was a short match. Booker T wins and he's the joint US and world champion. And he does a promo later on in the night, which was a good promo, but I couldn't fucking hear a promo because it was fucking so low than his mic. Then we see a shit ton of Vince McMahon vignettes throughout the night. It's all about Vince McMahon. What is he going to say? There's one with Trish Stratus and him making out, there's one with him and Regal, one with Vince McMahon and Michael Cole. A lot of Vince was on the show, and it should be focused on the last WCW wrestler. It should be focused on the WCW wrestlers, but also now Vince has bought the company, and he's like, I'm focusing my WWF guys, and stuff like that. So we have the second match of the night. It was Cruiserweight Tag Titles. It was the three count versus the Filthy Animals for the Cruiserweight Tag Title. At the last pay-per-view they had, which was WCW Sin, WCW thought while they was going out of business, they would unveil new tag team titles. Cruiserweight tag team titles. So it was the three count versus the filthy animals. Whoever would win would get the title match later on the night. The filthy animals get one which is Dream Story and Billy Kidman that get a win. A lot of no selling in this match, a lot of flippity floppity flippity and nobody was selling, it was just a whatever match. Everybody got their shit and like I said, a Vince and Trish um vignette. Then we have Chavo versus Shane Helms. Um, for the Cruiserweight title, Shane Helms retains his belt. They had this was a good feud that they had. They was built. They've had this since January, so they have they've had at least two months of them feuding, which I think was a great thing here. Um, Shane gets the win. Uh, then we had a fourth match tonight. It was oh, it was Mike and Lance Storm, Mike Austin and Lance Storm versus Chuck and Sean O'Hare. Um, this was a good tag match. Chuck and Sean O'Hare get the win. Um, then we get the first match tonight, and it's for the WCW Cruiserweight title. Um, it was Romeo and Skip versus the Filthy Animals for the WCW Cruiserweight title. So this was a good match. Filthy Animals got the win. Then we have a Stacy Keyboard, Sean Stasiak segment, and basically she beats up Bam Bam Bigelow, and that was kind of just a time killer. Then, um, the main event of the night is Sting versus Flair one more time in WCW. Um, Flair's wearing a t-shirt at this point. But actually Flair looked good at this point. This was 2001. He looked actually pretty good. They had a good solid match. Sting gets the win. Um, they embrace after that. And they didn't even... 
end it. They shouldn't even give them time. They just cut back to Vince, and he's basically in the ring. He's like, who should I sign? Should I sign Goldberg? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Should I sign Booker T? Thumbs up, should I sign Buff Bagwell? Which, wait, which you did, Vince, and then you fired him a, a week later. Um, so uh, like Shane comes in, and he says, Vince, you have bought WCW. There, there is an event man up there. The McMahons have bought a con the WCW, but it's Shane McMahon that has um, bought WCW, and he says, "Now I own WCW," um, and Vince is like, "Oh, shocked and what?" And that's was really the end of WCW Nitro. A really sad end um, to a great wrestling company. And after that, we had. A steady decline for the WWE. I mean, okay, after that, you had, you know, they was going into the roof scratching era. You had poorly booked invasion angle, which they could have done a lot better when they should have left it a year. And they go into the roof scratching era. Um, they do push some stars, but you can, you can, you can tell they needed that second company to really kick them up the ass because competition is the best thing for anybody. Like that's gonna make you better. And that's what WWE have missed for 20 years now. Um, and I'm hoping WWE, I know TNA tried in 2010, but he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready, he spent big money and he wasn't ready. I'm hoping when AEW is ready, not yet, not for a while they're not ready. They're only just been a company for five minutes. So let them become their own, their own company. Let them focus on AEW before they're going to go in competition. Um, but if they ever do, like, just don't make the st mistakes what WCW have done, which they were doing well at, um, after 99, at, it was after 99 where they were really getting bad, after Russo came in, and he was doing all these, Judy uh, Bagwell in a pole match, and all this other stuff, and that's what really hurt, what hurt WCW, and then you had the contra uh, contra uh, creative control from Bischoff, from Bischoff, Hogan, Nash, it really didn't help, then because you had the WWF who was building all these stars, new stars, and then you had the old stars of WCW putting down Jericho and all these other guys, and that's why they jumped shit. But anyway, that's my review of the final Nitro for the 3rd of the 26th, 20, 2001. Leave your thoughts on this show in the comments, and I'll check you later.